worried about his father. I know that, Leslie. What I don't understand is how you, you have gotten so liberal as far as Laura goes. I mean, six months ago, you would have wanted to know where she was every second. I know where she is tonight. She's at the hospital with Scotty. And I know it's important to be with someone if you love them and there's trouble. I haven't forgotten those feelings, you know? Are you implying that I have? No, I wasn't implying any... Oh, Rick, please. Please, don't. Don't. Let's don't argue, please. I am not arguing, honestly. It's just that Monica accused me of the same thing today. Accused you of what? Of running my life with my mind and not having a balance with my feelings. How did the two of you happen to get on the subject of your feelings? Well, I, I, I don't know. I said something about uh, sometimes life is very difficult. Uh, that... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's helpless at times when you're trying to control things. That's all. Oh, I see. Well, it must have been a deeply personal conversation. No, it was not a deeply personal conversation. Uh, Monica brought the subject up and it made me stop and think. Monica. Monica, 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 Monica. Do you realize how often you bring her name into every conversation we have lately? Or how many times... Recently, you have held her up to me as a shining example of happy and well-adjusted woman. Leslie, I do not do that. Think about it then, because you do, constantly. That is not true. I think the problem is you are so hypersensitive that if I were to mention her name once, in a year you'd still bristle. Okay, if, if I am that sensitive, did it ever occur to you that maybe that could be a result of the problems that we've been having? Funny, I, w I had the same conversation with Peter today. What did you say to Peter today? That suddenly every other woman is a threat to me, and that is a rotten way to live, Rick. Of course. And Peter understood, and Peter was sympathetic, at least if you were not, and Peter still thinks that we should see a marriage count. Look, I know exactly how Peter feels on that subject, all right? Well, since you obviously are not interested in taking his advice, Maybe you want to talk it over with Monica. Maybe if you got her approval, you'd be more inclined to do it. Oh, you don't want to stop, do you? I tell you, you're wrong, and you keep going on and on and on. I tell you, you are on the wrong track. You won't stop. You want to continue? Continue by yourself, because I've had... Where are you going? I'm going to the hospital. I'm going to relieve Monica. She has a nice, happy home to go to, and I think we should allow her to take advantage of that, don't you? I am just very surprised to see you back here. Well, be grateful. Go home. I mean, you relieved me early this morning. I am now relieving you this evening, and I think it's called uh, fair exchange. And you don't have to stay here either. Why not? Because Mrs. Flynn is just fine. And she's going to be resting comfortably in her very own room shortly. Oh, that's good. I think I'll stay around for a while, though. I'm anxious to find out what's going on on the fifth floor. They're supposed to have some word from Atlanta. I'd like to hear the report. Yeah, so would I. Well, uh, would you do me a favor? Call me the minute you hear anything? Of course I will. Would you tell Edward I'm sorry I still don't have that report yet? Maybe I can get at it tonight. I don't mean to rush you. I just know how impatient and anxious Edward is to be off. Yeah, I know. I wish I could tell you more. All I know so far is that there is an indication for irregularity, especially under stress. Look, I'm not going to say anything to him until you know for sure. I mean, I don't want to worry him in advance. Yeah. Well, I'll try to get on tonight, by the way. Okay. Well, don't you stay too late now. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Monica. Yeah? But nothing. Um, give my best to Alan. Uh, be happy. Both of you. Rick came to relieve me. I'm going to go home, I'm going to have a hot bath, I'm going to have a catered meal, and if you take my advice, you'll both do the same. Oh, oh I would love to do that. So would Attention I. Attention, everyone. This is Dr. Hardy, Chief of Staff of General Hospital. By order from the United States Department of Health, 
This hospital is under immediate and strict quarantine until further notice. Everyone within the hospital at the present time will have to remain until this quarantine can be safely lifted. Additional guards will be posted at doors to notify anyone trying to enter that the hospital is under official quarantine. Signs will be posted immediately and bulletins will be issued as soon as possible explaining the reasons for this emergency action. I ask the complete cooperation of the staff and patients as well in helping to carry out these emergency measures. Repeating my announcement, this is Dr. Steve Marty, Chief of Staff of General Hospital. My order from the United States Department of Health, this hospital is under immediate and strict quarantine until further notice. Everyone within the hospital at the present time will have to remain until this quarantine can be safely lifted. Additional guards will be posted at door. Why, all of a sudden, 30 new cases, all from the Elm Street District crop up, when none have been reported in any other district in the last two days. You know, it's so strange. Yeah, but at least it's the beginning of some kind of pattern with the infection. Dr. Lombard, I was just telling Monica and Audrey that I felt that since all of the latest cases are primarily concentrated in one specific area, that's actually the first hint of any kind of pattern in the infection. Am I right? You certainly are. What that means that our carrier is, uh, well, whoever he is, was in the Elm Street section about a week ago. All he had to do was infect just one other person, give them the ability to infect all the others. It still doesn't help the authorities in finding him, though. I mean, right now he could be someplace else spreading the virus. Exactly, Dr. Quartermain. Until we find that carrier and kill the virus that's in his system, there is no hope bringing this epidemic under control. But the best part... Normal, I'm very happy to report. Wonderful. What is it, honey? Three people died this afternoon. I mean, that's since I have been here. I was with one woman who's not much older than I am when she went into shock. I tried everything I could think of to save her, Rick. Everything, and I couldn't. I have never felt so helpless. You've lost patients before. I mean, it's never easy. No, this is different. I mean, it's just different somehow. It's lousy disease. It moves from stage to stage. It weakens the system so the patient just can't fight back. We can't save them. Only weapon we have is plasma, and we don't have much of that anymore. All we can do is keep trying until it gets here. I'm going back out there. Well, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, you're not. Not until uh, taking the temperature. You know what Steve said about the staff having uh, their temperature taken three times a day. Yes. Okay? Thank God. <laughs> now I'm just beginning to let myself realize that he's really going to get through this thing. Of course he is, Gail. Pretty tense, aren't you? I know. First few hours I was up here, I was tight as a drum, but it passes. I just wish it would just pass. What do you mean? Uh, something I talked to you about once, and then I told you to forget it. Rick? Oh, I just wish I could just be with Alan, just for a few minutes, just to feel his arms around me and to hear his voice reassuring me. Reassuring you about what? That this world isn't going to stay upside down like this forever. That, that what we're doing here it isn't real. I mean, what real, what is real is Alan's love for me and our life together. Could you doubt that? Gail, okay, I don't know what I believe. I don't know what I believe, what I think, or what I feel right now. All I know is I don't feel a part of that world out there, nor bound to any of the rules. I'm scared. But 
Why, why don't you just lie down here and rest a while? Hmm? I know, I know it's very strange up here, but after a few days, you'll get used to the routine. I, I promise you that. It's not going to do anything for my feelings, Gail. My feeling of being frightened. I... Steve's on his way and he wants to talk to everybody on this floor. He's going to talk to him as he finds them in groups. Well, what about? I don't have the faintest idea. Well, I'm afraid we have a new emergency. What is it, Steve? We have over 200 patients now in the second and third stages, and our blood supply or plasma has completely run out. Steve, what about the new supply? I thought that was on the way already. No, no, it's uh, been delayed en route. It might take another 36 hours before it gets here. I'd better call a full staff meeting right away.